everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are here in beautiful Michigan showing you guys one of the best floor plans on the Dodge Ram platform for a Class B motorhome. This is the 2023 Coachman Nova Model 20RB. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Nova and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited that we are here taking a look at a never, no I have shown a Nova on the show before, but I've never so shown the 20RB. Before I begin, gotta say hi to our B specialist. It's Becky! Hi! Becky, where the heck are we? So we are in Gilbert Willis Park in Wixom, Michigan. Your your house is like <laughs> two minutes away or, or your family home that you grew up in. It is, yes. That yes. is crazy. So. Hi, Mom. Yes. We're in the backyard. <laughs> and today's just a beautiful day in Michigan. I mean, no humidity. No. It's Fan great. freaking tastic. Right Becky. now. It'll be hot later. Oh, well, <laughs> let's hurry up. Let's begin. All right. So, this is the 23 Nova. Now, this is a gas chassis. This is on the Ram Promaster V6 with the 3.6 liter. Pentastar engine. Yes. Okay. That's 280 horsepower, and the actual tip tip length is 20 feet 11 inches. Correct. All right. Now, right up here in the front, um, I like the, you know, I always like the chrome bling blingy stuff. Kind of just draws me in. But the nice big grill ram. It's a short, like if you look from the front, it's very short here. Yes. So this makes it very easy to drive. It kind of reminds me of when I drove a minivan. Yep. You know, I had a minivan for years with kids and stuff. So it's the same thing. It's just very easy to park because of it's just very short and compact up in the front engine um, side of it. Now, up in here, there are sensors for okay. parking. Um, They've got auto wipers, you've got the lights in the front, and you know, they did do some really, I like the new lights up here. These are nice. I think they're LED lights now. Yes, so, yes, but just so we know, we will have another Nova that's on the newer, newer chassis. Right. Uh, we'll have that in a couple weeks. So there is differences, but if you like these headlights, you guys need to call Becky because once these ones are gone, they're all gonna go to the new ones. Right. So uh, better act fast. Okay. But still, both look really, really nice. They sure do. All right, now down the side, I really like that um, you have that really long running board. Okay. But before I go there, Matt. Look at these tires, Becky. They're the Nexons. I love those. Let's see. The, the LT225-75 R16. Now, this is, this is nice. This is not plastic, which... You know, not the hubcaps, yes. which I've seen on some vans before, which that's not all right. Uh, the nice big mirror with the blind spot monitoring built in. Okay. Which, and the big blinkers. And Becky, I'm oh, seeing yeah. cameras here. What's yeah. going on there? That's a 360 camera. Okay. Now, like I said before, you have this nice running board. This okay. is very, like it's um, steel. It's very thick. It's, it's um, also, I really like because it's not slippery. So a lot of times you'll have um, a very slippery surface. It okay. gets wet and then, um, so that's nice. Becky, um, people like need that. to stay till the end when we go over our likes and dislikes. Why? Because I have something that you're not thinking of, oh. but you guys got to stay till the end. Okay, all right. So we open up this door. Okay, so in here, you have a nice handle to get in. Um, for everybody at home, I'm 5'10", so you guys can see that I have, still have plenty of head space up here. There's another handle here to come in. I do have plenty of leg space. Yes. You've got nice storage right in front of you. You know, not bad up here. Um, it's easy to get in and out. It's also shorter to the ground than like the Mercedes chassis. Ah. So people that have any sort of knee or problems like that, this is the shorter version. There you go. Right? Opening up that nice sliding door. Good door. It's not power, but it's pretty easy to open. You'll see right here, you have a nice light when you come in. And look at that, Matt. Yeah. Nice Big, grab handle. Huge grab handle. A nice screen. Coachman does such a great job with their screens. They really do, and I'm seeing the inside and I'm getting excited. And look, 
Yep. You can't see in the oh. light. There, there's no bugs that's going to come through there. That's mm. the attention to detail. Becky, right? Becky, you're wrong. The bugs always find me. They, they always find me. But yes, I do hear what oh. you're saying. Not only that, we got another light there and a very nice carefree awning. What very. I'm going to put it out because... You know why? Because it's a beautiful day, that's why. While Becky's getting that out, I want everybody to look down there. They're playing pickleball. For those of you who don't know, me, Will, and Jen, we started playing pickleball. So guys, drop a comment down below. Let us know if you want us to host like a pickleball tournament this winter in Florida. And like, I think it'd be cool to have like the Matt's RV Reviews pickleball tournament. Becky, this is a very nice power awning with LED lights. So I turned the lights on. Okay. And then I turned that porch light on so that we could see it. So you guys tell you that you have these lights and then this light. And I like that the light is here instead of over uh, there. Because okay. Because the bugs will be, hopefully stay over there, not closer to your van. Becky, right? the bugs will find me anyway. The bugs will get you. All right. This is going to be the exhaust for your Truma system. The Truma is what runs your hot water and your furnace inside the coach. And we can talk about that later. You've got two power receptacles there. Um, no, no, no. Okay. okay, this ladder is different than other ladders that okay. are on these vans. Okay. Now, this one looks more permanent. Becky, no, normally you're right. Normally there's a ladder and, and then it like hooks up to the side. Yeah, this one does not appear. It looks like it's supposed to be stationary. Yep. Obviously, if somebody's super interested, they can call you and we'll call Coachman when we're all done with this. But this one does look like it's permanently stationed. All right, you you try that. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Okay. No, it's definitely... How, do you, how are you feeling up there? Oh, I feel great. Thank Insecure. you, ma'am. Okay. And then up here, you guys can see that there is solar on the roof. A Truma um, air conditioning unit, which is kind of cool. King Air digital antenna, more solar up there, and a Max Air fan right there. All right. Very nice. Okay. Oh, careful. Becky, we don't get to do this much on B-Vans. One more, yep. But no. if you haven't already, <laughs> make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. We're the RV salesman taking this fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm actually shocked. I. Oh. oh, we locked it again. All right. Well, while he's going to unlock the door, okay, back here before we move forward, there is a uh, tow receiver hitch with a uh, brake controller built in that. All right. And up there, you see there is a backup camera built in. And there's Matt. Here we go now. Now, how cool, guys. Look, you can literally go right. Ow. It's okay. Okay. You can literally go right outside of this now if this step is too big they actually make a hitch step which is really convenient. oh very cool or get one of those little collapsible you know stools but it's very nice to be able to go inside and out you don't always have to go through your coach if you're dirty yeah to you know and you can make this in a whole changing area yeah i've seen where other people you can install these bars right here yes and then do a, a curtain you can close it and then if you're you want to hang your wet gear or if you want to change back here you want to take an outside shower because you can literally use this and you can just hose off from right yeah. here. Yeah. So you don't have to actually go inside and get all of that wet. So there's a lot of features. When, you, when you're using a van, you have to think about, you're not just using the inside of a van, mm. you're actually using part of the outside of the space too because you have to make it part of the space. Yeah, right? you have to. Now back here, there's another screen. Love that. Storage storage you could hang some stuff here to you know hang yep. racks more little storage here toilet paper cover these windows do have covers okay that come with it from coachman nice there's a water pump switch over here and i think we've got everything back here right yep. nice we'll leave okay. these doors open okay and now, then coming around to the driver's side all right so over here this is going to be your sewer connection uh for your black tank so there's no cassette toilet so it's a black tank this is going to be your 30 amp power cord. You do have a, po a port for solar if you want to hook up another solar panel. There is solar on the roof. Yes. Now this is an exterior spray port. It comes with a little hose. It's basically like a garden hose. Nice. It runs off your fresh water tank. So if you want to clean your van or dirty shoes or spray your dog off, you can. Here's your exterior cable connection. City water. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Black tank flush. 
Oh, um, and your freshwater connection there. Nice. That's probably what, oh, another, oh, that's gonna be probably your gray tank. Yes, right? ma'am. All right, down here, they do, this is really cool, Matt. I don't see this often. And especially in a bee van is nice. Yep. It's a place for your sewer hose. Yes, ma'am. So built in, you don't have to put it inside the coach. That's a genius thought. Yes. Now over here, this is where you're gonna you're fill your propane tank. The propane tank runs a few things inside the coach. It's gonna run your furnace, your hot water. There is no, you know, I noticed there's no portable exterior grill. Oh, okay. I mean, but, you, you, side, but yeah, you can one. always you can always, you can always add a propane one. quick yep. connect. And then if it had, um, uh, I don't, we didn't even look in there if it's got induction or propane. Yep. Cooking. So well, that is what that runs. Everybody will find out once we're on the inside of Miss Jen. Bing. Please put all the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who is watching on television. Okay. All right. So again, over here, Matt. I look at. I really like that. Okay. I like it. Good. Now this is where you fill your gas. Okay? Yep. Your fuel. Um, inside again, really nice, easy to get inside. You know, you sit up high. It's it's nice up here. You got a lot of storage. They have that nice observation camera, which was on the whole way when we were driving here. Oh, so, well, well, you're going to have to show us that when we go okay. in on the inside. I can do that. Yes, but first, let me go in on the inside, and then we'll give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. All right. And it is a beautiful day here at the park. And so while we're inside, you're going to see that this is an awesome living area. And then let's give a big shout out to the sponsor. And then you can show us that awesome camera. Spring is here and that means it's time to get back to the great outdoors and go camping. But don't let a bad night's sleep ruin your camping trip. That's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in. They have a wide selection of mattresses designed specifically for RVers. All of their mattresses are made 100% in the USA and they're using the highest quality of materials available and offering free shipping. And not only that, with our promo code MATT, you get 25% off your purchase when you click our link down in the YouTube description below. So why wait? Upgrade to a comfortable and supportive mattress now from RVMattress.com and start enjoying your camping trip like never before. So visit them today by going to rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. All right, Becky, my Matt's RV reviews first. I, I have emergency, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> good thing, good thing your mom's house is right around the corner. <laughs> no so joke. you do got the backup camera. Oh, yep, sorry. Yep, you do see the 360 camera. And then that's that awesome- um, Observation camera. Yes. So while you're driving, that actually stays on that rear view mirror. Yep. So you can constantly see what's going on behind you. Because as you know, a lot of these vans, you can't, there's, this one's pretty open. Like I could actually use the rear view mirror and be able to see out my back window, but not all of it, yeah. right? You know, but a little bit of it. Not only that, this is what van life's all about. Like for real, I really do need to use the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that for the video. Oh, no, he really does. But it's just like, we can't just pack up and go in a, be in a C or an A, you know? Right. Now put the blinkers on. A lot of people are wondering if those are side cameras and they are not side cameras. Those cameras were just the 360 so everybody knows. But again, easy breezy, easy to park and we no, are- Side cameras would be like when you're driving down and if you, you, if you are going, like you are gonna get in the next yeah. lane, it's gonna tell you- And it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that. Okay. Yes. Awesome and Becky, this is just so nice, smooth, easy to drive. It is easy to drive. Man, all right, well, we're back. So let, let's get parked up and uh, show everybody. Well, so talk to me. What other features do we got? We got a nice digital display right there. Yep. Tell it me is. tell me what you're seeing and feeling. So it, it, you're right. It is nice and digital, which I, I do like that. And it's telling me that your seatbelt's unbuckled. Uh-oh, so well, we're almost there. Right there. Now, they do have... Um, Adaptive cruise control built into the steering wheel. So on the right hand side here is going to be the adaptive cruise and how do you set it? Okay. On on this side you can make phone calls. So it's, they're kind of going, you know, the hands free, so you don't have to use the big screen over here. Yeah, you can just park right there. Right over here. Yep. But I do like that they have that bigger screen now. Yes. There's been some of these Ram vans that have the old, uh, like a Pioneer radio. That's, okay. That's really really small. 
and it's it's not touch screen. So at yeah. least this is touch screen. And while we were at the gas station earlier, I was kind of messing around with it. I, I it's a little wonky. There's a few things that I didn't love about it. Okay. But um, I do. You can also do Apple CarPlay. So if you wanted to just use your phone for navigation and stuff and you listen to your own music, you yeah. still can plug into all of those things. So that does make it pretty nice as well. For sure, for sure. And, you know, Audible. I like Audible. Um, right here, we do have a little bit of storage right here. Nice, uh, this kind of useless because I'm sitting up so tall, sun's not gonna hit my face anyway. This is something that we're definitely gonna touch on later. I mean, I'm 5'4", I'm a short human, and even I feel like, like it's weird. Like Becky and I are like head to head right here driving. So like the passenger seat's really up high. Big Mike is her husband and I don't think you guys could have this. Or Big Mike would be back there while you guys are driving down the road. <laughs> and we don't call him Big Mike to intimidate all the uh, creepy guys that message Becky all the time. His name is Big- I mean, maybe we do though. Yeah, I mean, we do mention that it is Big Mike, <laughs> but I mean, he's big, you know? Oh, uh, we got tons of leg space here. Um, really, really nice. Again, small, compact B van. Becky, yep. show us what we got going on back here. All right. Now, before we do actually go back there, so we've had a lot of people have made comments, which I do read the comments, guys. I may not always comment back, but I do read them. I also have a full-time job in a business, so, yeah. you know, I try. But these seats do swivel around, okay? So you got to kind of be patient. Well, with that one, you got to be patient. This one's definitely easier. Yeah. There's nothing behind me. What am I hitting? Hang on a second. Hang on a second, Becky. <laughs> Welcome to van life. Van guys. life. All right, let me get up and out of there. All right, let me show you what this one. Okay, so there's a red lever on this side, okay? Oh, that's a big improvement from years past. Yeah, there's not those like weird yeah. things. Now you got to scoot up, scoot around this B pillar. Yep. I'm stuck again. It's like it's getting hung up. Oh, there you there. go. You gotta use your body weight. There you go. All right. Now, oh, there we go. Okay. Very nice. Just like that, guys. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, you can swivel this other one around, too. I think it's just because it, when they are new, it's sometimes a little bit tough. You sit in the seat. It makes it easier. There's always levers somewhere, and if you can't find them, let us know. This is for the lagoon table. So you can put that table over here so if you guys were sitting in this area eating working whatever you're you know doing right here i'm gonna get this open i do want to show everybody that we do have a daytime screen and privacy screen also this is a euro style window just like that you know what i'm saying very nice i actually never seen the style window on a um we're actually not gonna open the door we got that window for nice cross ventilation I've never seen the Euro window on the door, which is kind of cool. Yeah, actually, right. Right. Actually, I don't think I have either because there's other companies that use it, but not. I don't think on the door. Another Euro window right there that Becky just pointed out. What All else right. we got going on? So let's start with right here. Now I like that when you open up that door, you're gonna go right to this. Yes. And everything is in one location, which makes it very convenient and easy for you. I also really, really like that they use the Firefly system. It's just very clean. It's very simple. It's it's easy, f user friendly. You can download an app on your phone. You literally everything that you do from here, you can do on an app on your phone. Yep. If you want to put your awning when you're outside, turn it. You know, turn the lights on and off. You can do everything from here on that. Now, okay, so we'll start here. This is how you turn your solar. They do have a solar panel that's built into the roof. So if you want to turn it on, you can turn it on. This is your Zantrac system. That's your inverter. That's gonna con you know, invert power so you can run the coach. This is, when you're gonna be storing it, it's battery disconnect. You're gonna put it in store mode so you don't drain your batteries yes. all the way down. Now, this is gonna be your gray tank heater. The gray tank probably is on the outside of the van because they have everything else inside. Mm -hmm. So it has a heater for your cold weather camping. You do have built-in Wi-Fi, and then that's to turn your LP tank this is gonna be your solar um, charger whole system, right? So they use the Go Power system. It's very dependable. This is very nice that it's there. It's gonna, it's not gonna, solar doesn't run everything, guys. Solar is a trickle charge to your house battery. Yes. Everybody thinks that if they have solar on there, they can off grid. No, you need lithium batteries mm. or a generator or that alternator built into the engine to reboost those batteries back up. Correct. 
All right, now on here, this is just like we said, this is the gonna control every single thing in the house. Lights, monitor your tanks, your batteries, just now, turn your generator on. Hang on, can you get the LI3 package on the Nova? You can. Okay, yes. and so then that would run everything, but even still, not forever. Not forever, because you can't, you can't just camp and run all of your power out and then ha not have power coming back in. Okay? Perfect. All right. Oh, and then the Truma system. The, the Truma, like we said outside, that's the exhaust. That's going to control your hot water and your, your furnace. All right. A nice big faucet built in, residential style. Nice storage. A light little sink there. Yes, ma'am. A um, little paper towel holder. A little place for your sponges. And correction from the outside, nice storage, but it is induction, induction. cooktop. Right. We did say uh, propane. Um, no, I think we said if it had propane. Ah. Yep. Now, I want to point out, guys, on the side, you'll see that they use real wood. These are these are actually it, like kitchen cabinets. You could go to this company and you could you could buy them and have them installed in your kitchen. So this isn't like the press board and you don't see the little staples. So this is solid and they lock and close. Mm. OK, uh, a little microwave down here. Yes, ma'am. It is not convection. OK. A uh, nice, big, huge storage drawer. Yes, ma'am. And it just feels nice and sturdy. All right, little Nova Cool fridge. It's, it's a, a nice Nova little cool fridge. It's what it's called. Ah, Nova Cool. Nova Cool. So, <laughs> so in the Nova, they just call it a cool fridge. It's a cool fridge. And then you have that little freezer above. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, this is cool. What is that? It's just like a little convenience spot. You know, you look like. Well, obviously. Yeah, you conveniently know, you've already, put my Red Bull there. Yeah, right? It's just a little spot for everything, you know, your little stuff. Nice drawers. Yeah. And this is my favorite. Uh-oh. Hey! That's a $156 trash can. But it's just nice because we're... Where else? You, where do you put it? Yep. Where do you here, put it? Here's where you don't put it. You don't put it up here, but it is nice to have a little bit of storage there. Right. And then Becky, before okay. you show us this awesome living area, yes. do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this stock number here, Becky. Stock number 249844 in Wixom, Michigan. MSRP is $161,055. Becky, that is MSRP. Sale price, again, you guys know B vans aren't like the normal RVs with that huge msrp discount but we still have 19 percent off to a sale price of 129.995 guys that is a phenomenal price on a nova and if you guys are interested in getting that price on a nova all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash you go there you'll always be able to get that price but becky what if somebody's watching this and they say you know what i don't want to pay 129.9 i want to get a little bit of a better price than that where do they do they go to generalrv.com <laughs> slash Becky's Cash. I've linked both of those links down below. Matt's Cash goes to my team, which Becky's a part of, but Becky's Cash goes straight to Becky. This girl will be the one who'll call you. This woman, lady, boss, she will be the one to call you. She will be the one to answer all your questions about B-Vans, and she's the one that's gonna get you the absolute best price in America, and it doesn't need to be in Michigan. She's the internet department she can sell you in Utah, Florida, um, Illinois, Virginia, Pennsylvania, especially if you guys live in New York, Texas, or California, click the link, contact Becky. She's gonna make it worth your while, and I've heard she's even bought an airplane ticket or two so people can travel to our stores. Oh, that has actually happened a few times. Becky, continue the video. Okay, so back here, guys, this is going to be your living space, yes. right? Now, it functions in two ways, all right? I like to say that you could sit just like this. And okay. You can put both of these cushions, you know, and you can comfortably sit here and lounge. Yes. Right? Do what you have to do. So, functions like that. But the other way, day lounger. Okay. Okay. Yes. But now, obviously, this is your bed for night. So, like I mentioned before, I'm 5'10", so you guys can see when I lay down. Now, this bed... It's a little longer. Yes. Yeah, so, that bed's longer than this bed, so your shorter spouse would sit here, but, I mean, I'm I'm okay. Yep. I would be all right. Gets the job done. Yeah. I would be... I'd be fine. I get that. Yeah. Okay. Underneath here is a bunch of lights. Okay. And every window, like Matt showed earlier, does have a screen so you guys know. And they are all that 
you know, that acrylic opening window that opens all the way. Love that. Which is nice because then you can open it. And if it's raining, you can leave it propped open. Yep. If you get a sideways rain, close your windows. Um, charging stations everywhere. Yes. Which so smart, right? Um, more things here. Lights on both sides. Mm. Oh, wait. Wait. Puck lights there. Puck lights there. One more. Oh. Well, that's just like a reading light. Yeah, but they always do two lights. Well, I mean, well, that's bizarre. You know, we are in a recession. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I feel like that's... All right. Probably because of coax cables right there. No, I don't know. Nice storage above here. And now I want to point out, you guys see this felt material? Yes, ma'am. So this is adding an R factor, and it's also adding a sound detonating factor. Mm. I tell you what, Matt, and when we drove here, yep. which it, we're about five miles from the dealership, I'd say. Yep. Was this thing loud and rattly? Not at all. No. And even if it was, I would have said no. No, but I'm just kidding. Nice no, it white really, really light. is. Yeah. It's just light and bright in here. All right. Can I can I ask you a question? Yes. Matt, while we were not on camera. Okay. And we were, I was putting this table up earlier. Yeah. What did you say to me? I, you walked in here and you said. Oh, this is a great floor plan. Yeah. And no, no. Size. You guys know I'm not the, the biggest fan of beef. Beef. The biggest fan of B fan, the biggest <laughs> fan of B Vance. This is a great layout. It's it very is. open, roomy, and spacious. It's the number one selling van. Uh, that's Blu-ray DVD player, yeah. for the TV right here. Um, so this has been the number one selling floor plan yeah. for couples for gosh since they've been doing vans. Yeah. Um, I'll point out here another Firefly system. So yep. say if you are back here and you want to turn your lights off or turn them on and you're in bed right here guys yep and then hopefully um our buddies in california are watching this because becky did say they need to create a floor plan like this this is a great floor plan it yep. just flows and then what do you got going on there all right nice i like this yes this is, this is really nice because it's, it's not like in the way yeah and it's not some rattly door you yeah know? all right nice big bathroom guys look plenty of head space here now, you can do a lot of things in here, okay? So, typically, if I was going to be in here, because I'm tall, yes. I'm going to be probably doing this a lot, right? Just because it's easier. Right. But I'll get down, and so you guys can see that these are adjustable shelves. Mm -hmm. There is a hanger up there if you want to hang clothes, take the shelves out. You have three nice drawers. Yes, ma'am. Now, if you're going to be taking a shower and you're tall like me, this is exactly how I would be doing it. Or outside. Uh, yeah, exactly. Or outside. You yep. know, sitting down pull this curtain around and because you don't want to get the cabinets wet right. and then all goes on the floor so you have your toilet there is a little drop down sink okay i'd use this as a vanity yeah right because i have my little bit of stuff here yep and then i put my makeup bag and you know get ready and do my things i'm not really gonna use this as a sink i'll put you just wash my hands up there it's yeah big deal nice little towel holder and that's it for the bathroom nice oh and a fan which is you Fantastic. Always get a fan in a bathroom. Now let's swap. Okay. This because, is really personal now, guys. Yeah, I gotta I gotta check it out. It does look pretty good. Ooh. Just so everybody knows it is a porcelain toilet. Ooh. Hang on a second. <gasps> Matt. Becky, get the camera in on this angle. Look look over here. Look over here. Uh -oh. I hate this. Becky, <laughs> this is a prime poop <gasps> position. Ding! Very nice. Mm -hmm. And Becky. We left liquefied at the dealership, oh. but if you guys need black tank chemical, go to primepoopposition.com. And I can't believe this is a class B bathroom that actually is a true prime poop position. Like I'm not giving it one because it's a B van, which I've done that in the past, right? Like it was kind of tight, but right. it was good for a B van. This is a straight up, I'm not touching at all. Very nice. I mean, these rear bathrooms are very, very nice. And to think this all packs in at 20 feet, 11 inches, it's fan freaking fantastic. Matt. Well, Becky, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, as much as we love the bathroom, it's time to give people three things we love about this Nova and three things we just don't like. Becky, what do we do first? Likes. First? First. Okay. First and foremost, I got to start with this rear bathroom. Okay. I, I, I hate to do this. Oh, Matt, you're so cliche. Listen, this bathroom is fan freaking fantastic. Not only are we in a B van, but we're in a small B van, a 20 feet, 11 inch, right? And it's such a big, spacious bedroom. I think it's so important. Now, some people might say this is a dislike because now you kind of have a smaller, crummier kitchen, 
but I think it's totally worth it in a beaver in this small. Bathroom is definitely number one. Becky, what's like number two? I, I'm just excited to hear that you... Just, like come on, what's two. like number two? Um, okay, for me, like number two, I really, I, I like the colors. Yes. It, it's very light and bright and it just flows well. Can I, yeah. When you do a van that has dark colors to me, it yep. just feels very... Huh. Can I combo? So, yes. The windows in the mirror in the middle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's just it's just helping with that right. perception. Uh, it, totally. That's number two. Becky, give us like number three. Like number three, I like the two twin bed setup. Talk to I me. really do. Number one, you know, Matt, obviously he's shorter, so he can sleep on that side. Yep. And then I can sleep over here and I'm completely fine. And it just you have that separation, plus it's a done bed. You don't have to convert it to a bed right. every day. There are, I don't personally mind, but I know that there are a lot of folks out there traveling or buying vans that don't want to make a bed. No, every day. You no, just you just want to park. It. Right. You just so want to park and sleep. I like that there's just two beds that are just, you know, ready to roll. Yes. But. Becky, that's three things we love about it. Now right. it's time for three things we don't like about it. Do you want to start it or end it? Because I have two big dislikes. Um, then you start it. Okay. okay. Becky, dislike number one for me. I always forget to swap it around. I guys. hate how tall I feel in here. I always talk about it on the Ram Pro Masters. I, one, you can't see the front. That is a little bit of an advantage if you're trying to stay short. But I just feel like I'm sitting up so tall and I'm a short guy. I am not a fan of this. Never have been, never will be. Is it a deal breaker? No, because again, if you wanna stay in an amazing price point, you gotta go with the Ram. And again, how small this is. This fits in garages, this fits well, not all garages, but it fits in driveways and parking spots. Right. That's number one. Becky, what do I love the most on this planet? Um, Yona? Yes. <laughs> so. Sorry, Andrea. Andrea, then Yona. Okay, I, but I had a feeling I didn't you know, go on there. Andrea, Andrea, listen. Andrea's a human. You're a human. I've disappointed you I've made you mad I've made you happy same with Andrea same with Will same with everybody I've ever met I have never made Yuna mad the dogs just love you forever it's... dogs are unconditional here's what is conditional for the puppers for me as a dog owner oh. I do not like that for the paws oh I didn't even think about that I know you didn't because I love my dog more than you love bear just saying wow just saying poor bear bear yep man but, bear but that's and, true. Ba yeah, bear so, wouldn't like that either. That would kill his paws. But I again, didn't think about maybe that. there's something like you could put like step covers over it. Sure. Uh, I do like the this part, like right. Becky was saying. Yeah. But that is no bueno, hmm. um, especially for dog owners. Okay. But again, I feel like you could just put a mat over that. That's yes. number two. Becky, what's this like? Number three. Number three for me. All right, when we when we got in here, I had to. The seat was really far up. You guys know uh, how tall. My legs are really long, so I fumbled around for what, like three minutes. And yeah. Matt, Matt, yeah, even Matt's like, yeah, because he was he gets he, Matt has a attention span of like a two year old guys. Mm -hmm. So he was very frustrated. Well, I can't drive with my knees to the steering wheel. So there's so many adjustments, and they're all manual. Right. And it hurt it. It almost like it's such it's so silly. Hurts your hands. Right. Don't get me wrong. We don't need elect we don't need electric. But like you don't need this this crap little like these. Right. The little twisties. Yeah. And it's it's no it's like Right. That's how you can adjust the seat. Come on. I don't like that. So that's it. Well, Becky, that's it. That's the review. Thank you for taking me to your home in this beautiful park. Again, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to host like a pickleball tournament in the winter down in Florida. Um, and again, if you guys are interested in this motorhome, you can always go to General RV Matt's Cash. You can call the number 844-969-4033. Talk to anybody on my team. Or if you want to work directly with Becky, I have linked Becky's Cash down in the YouTube description below. Becky, what do you want to say to America? Thank you guys again for watching. Thanks for Matt having me on the channel again. And, oh, and thanks to my mom and dad for letting us use the bathroom today. Again, super <laughs> convenient in the Class B. You just parked in the driveway. Right. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Becky, we'll see you next time.